All right, so now that I got the combiner box pretty much all set to go, I think I'm gonna start the wiring out here. I'll show you what I'm doing with the panels. I'm not exactly sure how far I can make it today because I'm still waiting on one of the walls on the inside of the shed to finish drying. Once that finishes drying, I can then put up another sheet of plywood and um, then I should be able to mount all the solar equipment on the inside of the shed and we should be ready to go. In wiring up these panels, let me, uh, let me loosen up the cords here a little bit. If you don't know already, each of the panel comes with a positive cord and a negative cord. And there are two ways of wiring the panels. One way is in series and the other way is in parallel. I am going to be wiring, so I have 15 panels total. And I'm going to be attaching groups of three in series down the line that should give me five total strings. So over on this side should be all positive strings. Over on the lower side of the panels should be all negative and I should have, so all together it'll be five strings of positive, five strings of negative, and I'm going to wire those into the combiner box. And once those are in there, it should be wired in parallel. So by wiring these in parallel, it should increase the amperage while keeping the voltage the same. If I had wired it in series, it would increase the voltage and keep the amperage the same. Just something to be aware of when designing your own photovoltaic system. Other sources will probably go into a lot more detail on that. Just giving you a heads up. So to connect these, it should be fairly simple. I'm just going to leave the positive end here, take the negative end, connect it to the positive over on the next thing, and it should just be as simple as popping them together like that. Same thing going from the middle panel to the last panel. Take the negative end of that, put it into the positive. Now these three panels should be wired together with my positive end over here and my negative end down here. And I'm going to do that down the line. All right, so I'm almost finished wiring these up. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm creating those MC4 connectors and attaching it to the wires just because some of these wire runs, instead of buying my own like extended cables, I'm just making my own cables with PV wire and, and the, the MC4 connectors. I'll show you how I do it now. So now because my array is on three separate mounts, it is kind of a long expanse. I'm gonna use this measuring wheel here just to get an idea how long it's gonna take me to get from here to over to my combiner box. So we're looking at almost 19 feet just to get from here to over there. Plus I gotta take into consideration the wire coming down over to the combiner box. So I'm gonna add to add a few extra feet for that. So making these connections is very simple. What you need, uh, what you wanna have is a good uh, crimping tool uh, this was highly recommended to me. Uh, I picked one up and I can tell you um, definitely worth the price. Get one of these because this is absolutely very important for getting just the right crimp in your in your PV wire. So I cut a length of the PV wire I need to get from uh, that string of panels over to the combiner box. Got my little wire stripper here and I am going to strip about a half inch to an inch off the end of this wire. Alright, now that I got my exposed end, I got both a male and a female connector here because I'm going to end up plugging one end into the uh, positive male end over here and then the other end will then connect to the combiner box. But I'm going to start with the, the female end right here to connect to the, the panels. And each of them has their own little metal component. The male one here is a little bit longer and straight, whereas the female one here is a little shorter and it's a little wider down at the bottom. 
Okay, I'm not gonna make any comments on about that. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take my female end here, slip it in, get my little crimping tool. And then, voila. Nice. Man, I got on my little MC4 connector. Slip the little nut on. Then you want to put this all the way into the connector till you hear a little click. There you go. Probably didn't hear that. I barely heard it. <laughs> but there was a little click. Then you want to screw that on all the way till it, you can. You can only hand tighten it so much. Uh, that's what these little tools are for. These are specifically designed for MC4 connectors. So you put one on like that, and then you use the wrench side for the other, and then, and then you use that to get a little bit more, a little bit more tension on there. The wrench side seems to be, doesn't seem to hold on very tight, and I think that is so that you don't over tighten it. So that you get just the right amount of tension in there. And that one's ready to go. So basically it's exactly the same for the other side. I'm gonna take a little bit off that end. This time slip the male connecting piece in there. Making my MC4 connectors, making my MC4 connectors. You're not required to sing, but it does make the work go by a little. Ah! It does make the work go by a little bit quicker. So male end piece, male MC4 connector, also used for the positive connections of the uh, solar panels. Slip the nut on. Oh, you might have heard that one, that one was kind of loud. And then tighten it down. All right, so now that I got my extension wire all made, I'm gonna hook it up, string it along, take it so it's ready to hook up into the combiner box. Now these wires are definitely a mess right here right now. I know that. Uh, and I will definitely clean these up because I have people watching me and they'd be sorely disappointed if I left wires just hanging around like this. I'd be like, we taught you better than that. <laughs> After you make your uh, extended wire, it's just as simple as hooking them up. Bam. Now I'm gonna run the wire all the way across so that's ready to hook up into the combiner box. All right, so I'm just stringing them over right now. I'm hooking them up to the panels and then I'm bringing them over to the combiner box, but I'm not hooking it in right yet. I wanna get all the wires ready to go before I string it in. I don't know if it matters, honestly, <laughs> but that's just the way I feel comfortable doing it. Um, so once I get all those wires ready to go, I'm going to probably attach the, the wires that I have in the box to where they need to go, whether it's the breakers or the negative bus bar, and then I will attach the solar panel wiring to those. 